we looked for peace, but no good came, and for a time of health, and behold, trouble. The snorting of his horses was heard from Dan. The whole land trembled at the sound of the neighing of his strong ones. But they are come and have devoured the land, and all that is in it, the city, and those that dwell therein. For behold, I will send serpents, cockatrices, among you, which will not be charmed, and they shall bite you, saith the Lord. Every tribe has its purpose in our nation. Although the scriptures has placed a spotlight on certain tribes, all of the 12 tribes of Israel are important and have a purpose in the nation of Israel. I believe the highlighted tribes overshadowed the other tribes because of the role and inheritance given to each tribe. For example, the tribe of Judah was given the kingdom. The Satans have to highlight the tribe of Judah to better deceive the whole world. How else can the workers of iniquity pass off the false Messiah and the Jewish people if the tribe of Judah is not the focus point in the beast system? The scriptures made it very clear that Satan has deceived the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Deception is the fuel that operates the kingdom of darkness. The tribe of Dan is one of the tribes that is overshadowed in the history of the Israelite bloodline. Although the scriptures do not give us a lot of information about the tribe of Dan, the Danites contribute to our nation before they went missing, according to the beast system scholars and Israelite teachers in the awakening. Israelites, you have to understand, just because we don't know where the tribe of Dan is today, it doesn't mean the Most High has forgotten about the tribe of Dan or they were cut off. Remember, the Most High is merciful. The Most High gave his people the opportunity to repent. The Most High gave the tribe of Dan the opportunity to repent as well. The tribes may be lost in the B system. However, the Most High know exactly where his people are. The scripture said in the book of Psalms that the workers of iniquity have taken crafty counsel against the most high's hidden ones. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. The scriptures made it clear that the most high's chosen people are hidden among the nations. By the way, the heathens know exactly where the 12 tribes are today. The workers of iniquity want to convince the indigenous black people that the tribes are lost to insert themselves into the scriptures, as well as to falsify history to take over the identity of the chosen people. The workers of iniquity condemn the scriptures that expose who they are by not including those scriptures in the Bible. The workers of iniquity claim the scriptures are lost. All along, they have the original scrolls locked away and closely monitored to prevent the manuscripts leaking to the public. The workers of iniquity forgot about the Holy Spirit. Israelites, just because a tribe may appear to be missing, it doesn't mean they were cut off. Dan is the progenitor to the tribe of Dan. The Danites are a nation under the umbrella of the Israelite bloodline. Dan is the son of Jacob and Bilhah. Bilhah was Rachel's handmaid. And Laban gave to Rachel his daughter Billa his handmaid to be her maid. Naphtali and Dan are full brothers. Their mother Billard was given to Jacob by Rachel when Rachel was barren. Rachel claimed Billard's children for herself. Rachel envied Leah because Leah had six sons and a daughter for Jacob. Leah's handmaid also had children for Jacob. Rachel's jealousy and desperation for children for Jacob led her to give her handmaid to her husband Jacob in order to have children through her. And when Rachel saw that she bare Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children or else I die. Rachel claims Bilhah's children as her own, Dan and Naphtali were the sons born to Bilhah by Jacob. And she said, Behold my maid Billah, 
go in unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees, that I may also have children by her. Rachel competed with her sister Leah to see who would give Jacob the most children. Dan was the firstborn son to Bilhah. Rachel is the one that named both the Bilhah's sons. Rachel named Bilhah firstborn son, Dan. Rachel believed the Most High judged her and heard her voice at the same time. That is why she named him Dan. Dan means God is my judge. And she gave him Billah, her handmaid, to wife. And Jacob went in unto her. And Billah conceived and bare Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God hath judged me, and hath also heard my voice, and hath given me a son. Therefore called she his name Dan. Bilhah was the wife of Jacob who Reuben, Jacob's firstborn son, slept with. Israelites, you know that the nation of Israel is not without scandals. Before Jacob transitioned to the afterlife, he gathered his children to him to bless them, as well as to prophesy to his children about their future in the latter days. Jacob said that Dan would judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Jacob said Dan would be a serpent. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Gather yourselves together and hear, ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path that biteth the horse heels, so that his rider shall fall backward. The scriptures talk excessively about the tribe of Judah and Levi because both tribes lead our nation. Most of us do not know when the Most High used the tribe of Dan to judge his people. Jacob said Dan would judge his people. After Joshua, the son of Nun, died, the Israelites fell into idolatry. The sin of idolatry plagued our nation until this day. Everyone did what was right in their own eyes. During that time, the Most High raised judges to deliver his people from their adversaries. The Israelites did not listen to the judges. Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges. But they went a-whoring after other gods, and bowed themselves unto them. They turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in, obeying the commandments of the Lord. But they did not so. And when the Lord raised them up judges, then the Lord was with the judge and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. For it repented the Lord because of their groanings by reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. The scriptures did say that the chosen people are stiff-necked. The Israelites have a tendency of ignoring and dismissing the people the Most High raised to help them. I can see history repeating itself in this generation. That is why I recommend every Israelite to go humbly before the Most High and ask for a double portion of the spirit of discernment. Pride in this generation is leading many Israelites onto the broad road that leads to destruction. Some refuse to hear even when the truth is staring at them. How can you become free if you don't accept truth? During the time of the judges, the Most High fulfilled the prophecy that said Dan would judge his people. The most famous Danite in the scriptures is Samson. Everyone have heard of Samson. Most people don't know that Samson was from the tribe of Dan. And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Philistines forty years. And there was a certain man of Zorah, of the family of the Danites, whose name was Manoah. And his wife was barren, and bare not. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman, and said unto her, Behold now, thou art barren, and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive, and bear a son. Now therefore beware, I pray thee, and drink not wine, nor strong drink, and eat not any unclean thing. For lo, thou shalt conceive, and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his head, for the child shall be a Nazarite unto God from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. And the woman bare a son, and called his name Samson, 
and the child grew, and the Lord blessed him. And the Spirit of the Lord began to move him at times in the camp of Dan, between Zorah and Eshtaol. Everything written must come to pass. Samson, the Danite, ruled over the Israelites when the Israelites were being persecuted by the Philistines. Samson was a judge in the Israelite nation for 20 years. And he judged Israel in the days of the Philistines, 20 years. Samson's downfall was of a strange woman called Delilah. The sons of Israel always playing the harlot and losing in the process. After multiple generations of being destroyed by the strange women, they still haven't learned their lesson. Even in this generation, some have created doctrines that give them access to the strange women. The scriptures did say all the sinners among the Israelites would die by the sword. Samson was no different. His fate was sealed when he revealed to the strange woman his secret. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And she said unto him, How canst thou say, I love thee, when thine heart is not with me? Thou hast mocked me these three times, and hast not told me wherein thy great strength lieth. And it came to pass when she pressed him daily with her words, and urged him, so that his soul was vexed unto death, that he told her all his heart, and said unto her, There hath not come a razor upon mine head, for I have been a Nazarite unto God from my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak, and be like any other man. And when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up this once, for he hath shown me all his heart. Then the lords of the Philistines came up unto her, and brought money in their hand. If the truth of the Most High's words do not cause the Israelites to repent, the fear of the Most High is not in them. The Most High fulfilled Jacob's prophecy of the tribe of Dan judging his people through Samson. Jacob prophesied that Dan would be a serpent. The serpent in the scriptures is associated with the Satans. It was through a serpent, the Satan Gadriel, deceived Eve in the garden. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. And ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. When land was distributed to the Israelites, the Danites were the last tribe to receive land inheritance. We know that the Danites were still among their people when the Israelites inherited the promised land. The Danites inherited the land in the east and west of the promised land. Now these are the names of the tribes. From the north end to the coast of the way of Hethlon, as one goeth to Hamath, Hazar Enan, the border of Damascus northward, to the coast of Hamath, for these are his sides, east and west, a portion for Dan. The Danites did not like their land inheritance on the coast. The Danites' land inheritance was too small for the tribe of Dan. The Danites decided to find land that was more suitable for them. The Danites sent six spies to scout the city Lashem to try to overtake the city to increase their land. When the Danites conquered the city Lashem, they changed the name of that city to Dan after their father. And the coast of the children of Dan went out too little for them. Therefore the children of Dan went up to fight against Lashem, and took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and possessed it, and dwelt therein, and called Lashem Dan, after the name of Dan their father. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families, these cities with their villages. The book of Judges give us more details about the Danites taking the city Lashem. 
The book of Judges called the city the Danites overtook Laish. The book of Judges revealed how the Danites took the city. Remember, in the days of the judges, there was no king in Israel. In those days, there was no king in Israel. And in those days, the tribe of the Danites sought them an inheritance to dwell in. For unto that day, all their inheritance had not fallen unto them among the tribes of Israel. And the children of Dan sent of their family five men from their coasts, men of valor, from Zorah and from Eshtol, to spy out the land and to search it. And they said unto them, Go, search the land. Who, when they came to Mount Ephraim, to the house of Micah, they lodged there. Israelites, do you notice how the indigenous black people call their lands after their names? They never call their land after the heathens or a random name. The modern heathens have a tendency of naming their nations with random names in this generation. That is why we do not know which land belonged to our ancestors because the workers of iniquity with the Satans changed the names of all the land on this earth. When the Danites overtook the city Laish or Lashem, they took the idols of Micah. And they took the things which Micah had made and the priest which he had and came unto Laish, unto a people that were at quiet and secure. And they smote them with the edge of the sword and burnt the city with fire. And there was no deliverer because it was far from Zidon and they had no business with any man. And it was in the valley that lieth by Beth Reob, and they built a city and dwelt therein. And they called the name of the city Dan, after the name of Dan their father, who was born unto Israel. Albeit, the name of the city was Laish at the first. And the five men that went to spy out the land went up, and came in thither, and took the graven image, and the ephod, and the teraphim, and the molten image. And the priest stood in the entering of the gate with the six hundred men that were appointed with weapons of war. And these went into Micah's house and fetched the carved image, the ephod and the teraphim and the molten image. Then said the priest unto them, What do ye? And they said unto him, Hold thy peace, lay thine hand upon thy mouth and go with us and be to us a father and a priest. Is it better for thee to be a priest unto the house of one man, or that thou be a priest unto a tribe and a family in Israel? After the Danites overtook the city Lashem, they set up the idols from the people of the land they overtook in a sanctuary they made. The Danites made Jonathan from the tribe of Manasseh a priest to the tribe of Dan. The Danites forsook the statutes of the Most High when they stole the idols of Micah and placed them in a sanctuary that is not of the Most High. In addition, they made an Israelite from the tribe of Manasseh their priest. In the nation of Israel, the Levites serve as the Most High's priests. And the children of Dan set up the graven image, and Jonathan the son of Gershom, the son of Manasseh, he and his sons were priests to the tribe of Dan until the day of the captivity of the land. And they set them up, Micah's graven image, which he made all the time that the house of God was in Shiloh. Idolatry is the downfall of the tribe of Dan. Idolatry is the downfall of the Israelite nation as a whole. The tribe of Dan is the forerunner. When the Most High split our nation into two kingdoms, the northern kingdom, which consists of the tribe of Dan, the idols they worship was placed in the sanctuary that was located in the Danites' territories. As soon as the Danites inherited their land, they fell deep into idol worship. Jeroboam placed one of the two golden calf idols in the city of Dan. Whereupon the king took counsel and made two calves of gold and said unto them, it is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem. Behold thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And he set the one in Bethel, and the other put he in Dan. And this thing became a sin. For the people went to worship before the one, even unto Dan. And he made an house of high places, and made priests of the lowest of the people, which were not of the sons of Levi. The Danites' idolatry runs deep. 
I believe none of the Israelites from the tribe of Dan were not sealed in the book of Revelation because the Danites prostituted themselves to Baal and many other idols. The Danites turned completely away to idol worship. Therefore, the Most High couldn't seal anyone from the tribe of Dan. Later on in this message, you will understand why no Israelite from the tribe of Dan were sealed. Dan idolatrous ways did not go unnoticed by the Most High. The snorting of his horses was heard from Dan. The whole land trembled at the sound of the neighing of his strong ones. For they are come and have devoured the land and all that is in it, the city, and those that dwell therein. For behold, I will send serpents, cockatrices, among you, which will not be charmed, and they shall bite you, saith the Lord. They that swear by the sin of Samaria, and say, Thy God, O Dan, liveth, and the manner of Beersheba liveth. Even they shall fall, and never rise up again. The Danites were the first to be destroyed. Every time the Most High sent an army against his people, the city the Danites conquered and renamed after their father Dan was the weakest point in the land of Canaan, the Promised Land. All the armies would march through the territories of Dan first. That is why they were first to be destroyed. So far, we know that the tribe of Dan were among their people even through the Assyrian captivity. The book of Ezra said the northern kingdom went to a further land to try and keep the commandments of the Most High in peace. The tribe of Dan was still among his people. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osi, the king, whom Salmanazar, the king of Assyria, led away captive. And he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. The debate about what happened to the tribe of Dan started when the Danites were not listed in the book of Revelation. Many people assumed they were cut off. The Testament of Dan give us information about Dan, the progenitor of the tribe of Dan, as well as what happened to the tribe of Dan. In the Testament of Dan, Dan said to his children that he struggled with the spirit of jealousy, which resulted of him desiring to kill his brother Joseph. Dan confessed to his children that he rejoiced on the day his brother Joseph was sold. I confess, therefore, this day to you, my children, that in my heart I resolve on the death of Joseph, my brother, the true and good man. And I rejoice that he was sold because his father loved him more than us. For the spirit of jealousy and vain glory said to me, Though thyself also art his son, and one of the spirits of Belar stirred me up, saying, Take this sword, and with it slay Joseph, so shall thy father love thee when he is dead. Dan said to his children that the spirit of anger persuaded him to destroy Joseph his brother. Because Joseph was a man of the Most High, and the Most High walked with Joseph, Dan never got the opportunity to kill Joseph. Now this is the spirit of anger that persuaded me to crush Joseph as a leopard crusheth a kid. But the God of my fathers did not suffer him to fall into my hands, so that I should find him alone and slay him and cause a second tribe to be destroyed in Israel. Dan's desire to kill Joseph and how the Satans pursue him to convince him to slay his own brother remind me of the story of Cain and Abel. Cain was also seduced by Satan to kill his brother. Satan convinced him that Adam loved Abel more than him. Cain allowed the spirit of anger to overtake him and Cain killed his brother Abel. Israelites, the Satans is always there whispering evil into your minds. The scriptures is correct when it says to cast down every imagination that rise against the knowledge of the Most High. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. If you don't cast down the wicked imaginations, the unclean spirit of anger and many other unclean spirits will destroy your life. If you're an Israelite that is easily influenced and you don't know how to cast down the wicked imaginations, you share similar struggles with Dan. Remember, you were born on a battlefield. 
the Satans will wage war with you until the end. The scripture said you will reap if you faint not. Stand strong and put on the whole armor of the Most High. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Israelites, remember, the Most High gave you power over all scorpions, serpents, and all the power of the enemy. By no means could they hurt you. Every day you must fight. Dan said to his children to keep themselves from the lying spirit and the spirit of anger. Dan said to his children that the spirit of anger caused blindness and the spirit of anger stopped you from seeing truth. And now, my children, behold, I am dying. And I tell you of a truth that unless ye keep yourselves from the spirit of lying and of anger and love truth and long suffering, ye shall perish. For anger is blindness and does not suffer one to see the face of any man with truth. The scripture said in the book of James that everyone should be slow to speak and slow to become angry. The wrath of man does not produce the righteousness the most high desire. Dan continued to warn his children about the spirit of anger, telling them that the spirit of anger make you create your own reality. Anger and the lying spirit make a person work all kinds of iniquity. When the person commit abominations, they will justify the sin because they cannot see correctly. The spirit of anger truly blind the mind. For the spirit of anger encompasseth him with the net of deceit, and blindeth his eyes, and through lying darkeneth his mind, and giveth him his own peculiar vision, and wherewith accompanyeth his eyes with hatred of heart, so as to be envious of his brother. For anger is an evil thing, my children, for it troubled even the soul itself. And the body of the angry man it maketh its own, and over his soul it getteth the mastery, and it bestoweth upon the body power that it may work all iniquity. And when the body does all these things, the soul justifieth what is done, since it seeth not aright. The scriptures let us know that Satan is a liar and the father of lies. Dan said to his children that the spirit of wrath and the lying spirit is at the right hand of Satan. Through those spirits, Satan's will will be done. The book of Revelation said to us that Satan has come down to us with great wrath. And though the wrathful man be weak, yet hath he a power twofold of that which is by nature. For wrath hath aided such in lawlessness. This spirit goeth always with lying at the right hand of Satan, that with cruelty and lying his works may be wrought. Understanding ye, therefore, the power of wrath, that it is vain. Dan warned his children about several unclean spirits that will cause their demise. Dan said to his children to keep the commandments, statutes, and laws of the Most High. All of the patriarchs of our nation warned their children to keep the commandments and laws of the Most High. The Israelites never seem to listen to the ancestors when they say obey the laws of the Most High. Dan said to his children, in the last days, the Danites will depart from the Most High. The Danites will provoke the Levites to anger. The Danites will fight against Judah. Dan said they will not prevail against Levi and Judah because the prince over Israel, the holy angel Michael, would guide them both. I know that in the last days ye shall depart from the Lord, and ye shall provoke Levi unto anger, and fight against Judah, but ye shall not prevail against them, for an angel of the Lord shall guide them both, for by them shall Israel stand. Like all the tribes, the Danites departed from the Most High. The Danites fought against the Levites and Judah when the Most High split our nation into two kingdoms. One of the golden calf idols was placed in Dan. The Danites made Israelites from various tribes serve as their priests. I believe this is what provoked the Levites to anger. When the Danites made a people who are not priests stand in a sanctuary that is not of the Most High, the Levites' inheritance is the priesthood in the heavens. I can see how the Danites' actions provoke the Levites to anger. And the priests and the Levites that when all Israel resorted to him out of all their coasts. For the Levites left their suburbs and their possession and came to Judah and Jerusalem. 
But Jeroboam and his sons had cast them off from executing the priest's office unto the Lord. And he ordained him priests for the high places and for the devils and for the calves which he had made. The Danites' behavior of giving the inheritance of our people to the heathens and strangers, a people that is not our people, is very common in this generation. There are many Israelites giving the heathens inheritance that don't belong to them. Esau is a very good example. The Israelites gave the serpent seed Esau's identity and inheritance. Some Israelites will give the strangers and heathens the Israelite identity. If you do this, the tribe of Dan may be your tribe. Dan said to his children that they will follow the ways of the heathens. They will do all the abominations of the heathens. Dan said his sons will go whoring after women of the lawless ones. The spirit of wickedness will operate in them. And whensoever ye depart from the Lord, ye shall walk in all evil and work the abominations of the Gentiles, going a whoring after women of the lawless ones, while with all wickedness the spirit of wickedness work in you. The indigenous black males in our communities have started many strange movements. Their movements always involve the strange women. Presently, there are many pursuing strange flesh all over the world. Those who participate in these wicked movements are the ones the spirit of wickedness is operating in. Dan said he read in the book of Enoch, the very book many heathens discredit. Now some Israelites are discrediting the book of Enoch and many other books that reveal truth they haven't heard. Especially when I tell them that the holy angel Michael is their prince using the so-called lost books. Dan said to his children, they will make Satan their prince. I wish I could get my hands on that version of the book of Enoch. I will further destroy the kingdom of the Satans with it. For I have read in the book of Enoch the righteous that your prince is Satan, and that all the spirit of wickedness and pride will conspire to attend constantly on the sons of Levi to cause them to sin before the Lord. You heard in the testament of Dan that the Danites will cause the Levites to error. They will conspire against the Levites. If the tribe of Dan is missing and not among their people, according to some doctrines, the Danites seems to be very close to the Israelites if they're able to conspire against their brethren. I can't skip over that Dan said, Satan is the prince to the Danites. I said to you, Israelites, Satan imitates everything the Most High does. The Most High set a prince over his people and all of the righteous. Satan set a prince over the people as well, the false messiah. Then confirm that Satan is the prince of this world, just as the holy angel Michael is the prince over our people and all of the righteous. I will rejoice on that great day when Israelites truly understand who their prince is and his role. Then said his sons will draw near to Levi and sin with them. Then said Judah will be covetous, plundering other men's goods like lions. And my sons will draw near to Levi and sin with them in all things. And the sons of Judah will be covetous, plundering other men's goods like lions. In the Testament of Dan, Dan revealed that the tribe of Dan will be led into captivity with Levi and Judah. From the land of their captivity, the Danites will share in the curses and the plagues of Egypt and all the evil of the Gentiles. Therefore shall ye be led away with them into captivity, and there shall ye receive all the plagues of Egypt and all the evils of the Gentiles. To all the people looking for the tribe of Dan, Dan was scattered with Judah and Levi. I can see a lot of the characteristics of the Danites in the diaspora. According to the testament of Dan, the tribe of Dan was not cut off. The Most High may not have sealed them because of their idolatrous ways. Dan is scattered according to the testament of Dan. I have said to you that the Most High is a merciful father. If the Danites return to the Most High, they will obtain mercy. The Most High will accept them just like he accepts his people and the strangers that repent and return to serve him in the spirit and in truth. And so when ye return to the Lord, ye shall obtain mercy. And he shall bring you into his sanctuary, and he shall give you peace. In the Testament of Judah, Judah mentioned the tribe of Dan and their position in the coming kingdom. 
Judah said the tribe of Dan would be over the luminaries. Judah also said that all of the patriarchs to our nation will rise along with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The sons of Jacob will be the head of their tribes. And after these things shall Abraham and Isaac and Jacob arise unto life. And I and my brethren shall be chiefs of the tribes of Israel. And the Lord blessed Levi and the angel of the presence, me, the powers of glory, Simeon, the heavens, Reuben, the earth, Asakar, the sea, Zebulon, the mountains, Joseph, the tabernacle, Benjamin, the luminaries, Dan, Eden, Naphtali, the sun, Gad, the moon, Asher. In the new Jerusalem that will be in the coming kingdom, there will be 12 gates. All of the 12 gates are named after the 12 tribes of Israel. If the tribe of Dan was cut off, then there would be 11 gates in the coming kingdom. Dan spoke about the Messiah to his children. Dan said there would be one that will rise from Judah and Levi that will be the salvation of the Lord. The one that is coming from the tribe of Judah will war against Belair. Belair is Satan. And there shall arise unto you from the tribe of Judah and of Levi the salvation of the Lord, and he shall make war against Belair. The prince of Israel will fight against the prince of this world. He will execute vengeance on our enemies. He will reverse our captivity, just like the book of Daniel said he would do. All who call on the Most High, he will give peace. Dan said to his children that the Israelites will rest in Eden. In the new Jerusalem, the righteous will rejoice. Dan told his children to fear the Most High and to beware of Satan and his spirits. Dan told his children to draw near to the Most High and to the angel that intercedes for our people. And now fear the Lord, my children, and beware of Satan and his spirits. Draw near unto God and unto the angel that interceded for you. For he is a mediator between God and men. And for the peace of Israel, he shall stand up against the kingdom of the enemy. Dan said Satan is eager to destroy all who call on the Most High. Dan said the angel of peace will strengthen the Israelites, just like the Messiah will do. Dan said to his children, if they depart from unrighteousness and cleave to righteousness, the tribe of Dan will be saved. Depart, therefore, from all unrighteousness and cleave unto the righteousness of God and your race will be saved forever. Dan asked his children to bury him next to his fathers. After Dan commended his children, he transitioned to the afterlife. Dan was 125 years old when he died. His children did take his bones when they left Egypt and they buried him next to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And bury me near my fathers. And when he had said these things, he kissed them and fell asleep at a good old age. And his sons buried him. And after that, they carried up his bones and placed them near Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. The very last scripture in the Testament of Dan said that Dan prophesied to his children that they will forget their God and become alienated from their people and from the family of their seed. Nevertheless, Dan prophesied unto them that they should forget their God and should be alienated from the land of their inheritance and from the race of Israel and from the family of their seed. The scripture you just heard was added after Dan finished instructing his children. Dan said to his children they would be scattered with Judah and Levi. How can they be alienated from their people if they were scattered? Regardless if that scripture is true, Many of us in the awakening have been alienated from our people and families strictly for our beliefs and walking away from the beast religion. I personally believe that scripture was added to cause confusion. I share the last scripture in the Testament of Dan with you for you to make your own decision. Israelites, I can see a lot of the characteristics of the Danites among us today, as well as the other tribes. As the Most High revealed the truth about his people, remember to remain humble before him. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land.
the Israelite nation is in captivity because of sin. As we review the testaments of the 12 patriarchs to our nation, the transgression of our people is massive. I hope the testaments of our fathers encourage every Israelite to repent and draw near to the Most High. The Danites may have been overshadowed in the scriptures, but their legacy is here for all who want to know what the word of the Most High say about the Danites. Every tribe is important in the nation of Israel. None of the tribes are cut off. The Holy One of Israel is faithful. Many are called, but a few is chosen. Israelites, allow the truth of the Most High's words to set you free. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever.